What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to our Sunday preview. We've done this for the last couple of weeks. You guys seem to enjoy it. So we're going to be taking a look at upcoming players, right? So first of all, we are going to take a look at what will be coming tomorrow, Monday, the 30th of October. And obviously we do have the Halloween campaign ongoing as well. And we will have some legends, which we will get into, which seem to have been loaded on the database. So we're on eFootballDB.com, link in the description below. And as you can see here, we have got this 30th of October midfield selection from the Spanish League. Now, I know what you guys are going to say straight away. It's very disappointing that Bellingham isn't here. Camavinga gets in, but Bellingham's got a lot of cards over the last couple of weeks. So I think these cards are really geared towards people that missed out on a really good version of Pedri and don't want to spin or spend coins on the Barcelona pack. And also for Camavinga and DePaul, very good starter players to have in a central midfielder role. Otherwise, there, we will do a little bit of a build on these in a second. But Pedri, Camavinga, DePaul are the picks here. But we've got a couple of other players as well in there. Perez is a nice player. Um... We've got a we've got a DMF another two C, another CMF in Parejo and we have another attack midfielder with another right back as our right midfielder as well Fruto so it's 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 an okay selection I mean look if you have any version of Pedri you're probably not going to need to spin for these um but these will drop these players will be in and it gives us another hint as to what legends are going to be coming as well which we'll get into in a second here which will show you right also on top of that. We are going to have the Halloween campaign still ongoing. So you're going to have the Licked. You're going to also have Limer. And we also have Tell. Tell has already been released. Limer's already been released. They will be in your inbox just for signing in on those days. And the Licked will be coming on the 31st. So on Tuesday, he will be coming. And we'll show you a quick little build of him in a second, right? But also the Legends, right? So every Monday, they drop boosters as well. And let's have a look at those right here. Okay, so first up, we have Xavi. So the players that seem to be coming in the Spanish pack are going to be the three boosters, Xavi, Deco, and Guti. There's what seem to be coming. Um, obviously, it's not 100%, but yeah, it's probably like 99.9% .9 <laughs> um, because these have been loaded into the DB. And also, because of the Spanish pack as well with Pedri and Camavinga and those boys, um, these are part of a Spanish league midfielder selection, right? So they're always included with the legends. So it kind of gives you a Kind of gives you a, a jump on that, right? But we're going to have Xavi. Xavi, we don't know his full rating yet or his overall. I would say that Xavi will probably be around a 95, 96 with the boost. Um, he'll obviously have passing booster. He might get a unique boost where it will be all about his ball control type pass and low, ba uh, low pass and tight possession. But also on top of that, you might have his balance affected. You wouldn't know, right? So that's just a look ahead at him. Even if he was to get 26 levels here, right? I still think you're not going to have like a really... You know, I mean, his base stats are going to be outrageous as it is. But even if we wanted to get like 88 lofted pass and max out his low pass here, his dribbling is still going to be very effective. If we go to the 88 type possession with 26 levels, this is we're going to have still a little bit of pace as well. We'll actually be able to get 83 acceleration. And then I would say 74 speed with the boost to 75, 76 or else 77 with 10 hag. You can kind of have a fairly nice central attack and midfielder, kind of in Pedri's mold. So very similar to this card, I would say. Obviously, Pedri is going to be a little bit quicker and his passing is not going to be as crisp. So that is an interesting one. I think that they're fairly well um, at 26 levels. But I think Xavi might have a couple of more levels to bring his speed up to that 78 mark, which would be really, really good because it would mean that you're able to get his you know, low pass maxed out. Lofted pass is going to be good. He's going to have some good player skills as well, of course, as we know. Um, so, you know, player skills as follows. You're going to have your usual player skills like one touch pass he's going to have double touch which is very nice outside curler weighted pass i've noticed a lot of these cards are no longer having um true passing so it is kind of rare enough to have a player that has true passing uh, and also low lofted pass a lot of players don't have low lofted pass which is kind of an animation driven pass that you can hit zico is one of those guys that i give it to um that has it is it, it's beautiful so we also will take a look at deco if you look at deco here right so deco is going to be a player that comes that's going to be very similar to xavi again he's got 26 levels but that could rise or fall i would say probably rise with the booster um and obviously deco was a fantastic player i mean i i think he was a really really kind of underrated player there for a while because he was in really good squads but again you know what you're getting with deco you're going to have the passing at 95 maxed out there with the 88 lofted if you're playing him a little deeper dribbling is actually going to be better than uh, Javi's 
And of course, his speed is actually going to be better than Javi's as well. You can actually get 88 speed with him if you wanted to play him as an attacking midfielder and you don't need to worry about his speed. So these cards, I think, are going to be extremely, and I mean extremely overpowered, um, if you don't have that kind of like attacking midfielder role slot uh, kind of like completely pinned down like i have with the likes of bellingham or el zico or guti or any of those um but again you will see here he's got some nice player skills but he doesn't have that low lofted and he doesn't have double touch so that's just something to keep in mind and then last but not least we have real madrid's guti who was another extraordinary player now i think guti could actually be the pick of the pack lads if this pack does come on monday with the legends uh we will see what his his booster is and his updates are um and his levels, but I, I genuinely think Guti is one of the best um, attacking midfielders in the game. He's actually down as an attacking midfielder here as a creative playmaker. He has one touch pass, he's got double touch, he's also got soul control, but this card has also got super sub, which really accelerates this card in my eyes as one of these really, really strong players, right? So dribbling, you know what you're going to be getting with him. Also dexterity, you can get that up to 88 very, very nicely. And where the others fall down with lack of speed and stamina, Guti does have that and on top of that you can also turn him into quite a decent kind of run and gun player because you can have 78 finishing which will get the boost and of course the passing is going to be very very nice at 85 plus as well so let's let's see what their cards are in other in other kind of like pack news then we're going to have Pedri, Kamavinga and Paul. And of course, Delict. So, I mean, if Delict, I don't think he'll go 33 levels. But even, you know, we do know his confirmed rate and is going to be roughly around 96 um, with the booster. So, even if we have something like this, I think it would be a very solid card. I mean, you know, you're not going to get massive pace. With Delict, he's all going to be about kind of like um, pace and power, I suppose. Or not pace and power, height and power. So, I think we could kind of get a card that's maybe at like that kind of level i would say um maybe like 27 levels maybe 23 levels it depends maybe 23 levels would be enough for him but yeah so the rest of the pack as you see there so that is it for me lads just a quick little video just as a bit of a as a as a guide for you guys as to what's coming monday let me know if you enjoy these videos and as i said i mean you know javi is a really good player right there's no doubt about it deco is the same as an orchestrator he's a good player but i do think that guti is kind of the one to watch because he's kind of a unique card, right? I think at this stage in the life cycle of eFootball 2024, unless they bring, like until they bring a brand new update that kind of like reinvigorates the game, you probably will have your team sorted after 15 hours of like playing the game. You know, because you will have your team basically very much sorted as to what works for you. And if you are struggling, I mean, you can also change it and change it around a bit. But these cards, I don't know, will be will they be game changing? Depends on what booster they get. Depends on what level. I mean, if Goody is like level thirty five or like something crazy like that, where he's also able to get his his low pass up to eighty eight, um, you could have a phenomenal attack midfielder. So let me know what you guys think. Are you going to look forward to these cards? And let's see Monday if they do come.